All right. This is potentially the last game of the tournament. If Sebastian wins, he wins the tournament. And the grand total price of a Tamagolf. Whee! Yeah, that you... will be interesting how the game goes without uh, Justus going to five. Yeah. So... And I mean, that game was still very exciting. It yeah. wasn't... It wasn't so that I think like okay he's about to win, but there was a decent chance. I think it was still there was a possibility he could have drawn any amount of uh, combinations, and then it leads to a, a different outcome. But here we see Justus taking a mulligan again. And I mean, he, he kept kept with one land last game, so he could go. <laughs> Sebastian also says five lands, one Arbor Elf that doesn't really ramp into something. No, yeah. thank you. I will get another seven. And we can see those lovely people watch shuffling. And that's one of the, I guess, main problems from Tromoka's command. Because if you don't have a very okay creature on the board, it's most of the time too weak. Yeah, it has but, some different applications. Though. Yeah. But in this kind of deck, probably you have most of the time a decent creature. Right. Either you uh, make it yourself with something like Grim Flayer, I can imagine, or yeah. Siege Rhino, or maybe your opponent helps you out and then say, like, you discard a card. Ha! It's a Loxodon Smiter. I think this is a hand Justus is pretty happy, happy with. Yeah. The Basically. lands are a bit awkward, but... Well, he can decide if he rather wants black or blue, and the Stoneforge white? Mystic. I white. He has, yeah, okay. <laughs> the Stoneforge Mystic uh, gets something other than the sword, which is already in the hand, and if it doesn't get killed, it's very, very brutal. Sebastian this time says, "Ah, even my second seven was not good enough." Did Did you see it? It was so fast, I couldn't even. Uh, no, it was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> Enough information now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we need to know. And we look at three lands, a treetop village, also a Gideon, wow. and everybody's favorite object. <laughs> I would just as, uh, just as a, a bit too fast. That's that's really tough, isn't it? I mean, he, you have a scry, and I don't 100% know the curve of this deck, but one. I guess, I guess it has to work out. Probably it's. Like, Gideon is, is a strong card, yeah. and at least this hand guarantees you to go to Gideon. Yeah. And he says, okay, that's no, the same. He, he can't keep it. Do you want a Savannah? No, thank you. I already have a lot of those, and the game goes on. Perfect. <laughs> Hello. That Inter was really good. Isn't it very interesting that a Karyatid, which is kind of bad on its own, is good enough for the deck? Like, It's a two-mana ramp spell that blocks, yeah, but it doesn't really do anything later. Well, I guess uh, a strange of this card is that it is kind of good against two of the most played decks, and that's uh, it is a good kind of good wall for against Retic wins. Mm, and, because it can block and not be killed. Yeah. And uh, you get your the mana you want against all the non-basic land hate. So mm. it's kind of what which is the is a deck its main purpose. So it's interesting that this card is good enough but it really fits into the meta. Yeah it 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 does the stuff it does very well and that's good enough, even if it costs two mana, and you don't really want a ramp for two mana in this deck. Stoneforge Mystic will get probably the other good card in the deck. Yeah, there are two targets in this deck. This one's the Sword of Fire and Ice, and the another one is the Battle Sky. Do you think Jita is uh, a fair card for a Highlander match? I don't think so, no. I, I think Jitter decides a lot of games 
just who throws it first, and if you can't handle it, it's just game breaking. Yeah. I mean, I, for my point, I really gotta say, uh, the last time I played Jitter was in Highlander. Mm. So my experience really faded a bit away. Yeah. Um, because it's been a long, long time now. Yeah. But if I remember correctly, it was really awkward uh, to play with this card. And if it's strong enough for Legacy, well, that's sure, sure it, an advice that it is a really powerful card. Well, my the last time I played with Jita was in a Chaos Draft, and that seemed fine. Like on mm. my point and my side of the table, it was enjoyable. It was it seemed fair. It seemed very balanced. Like I attacked, creature died. It's it. <laughs> But it's surely something different if your opponent plays mana creatures and in just in general creatures on their own. Right. So he got a better skull. He has the extreme good combination of better skull and Stoneforge Mystic. Seeing here, ooh, miscalculation the Gideon. That's that's some that's some nice combination of cards. Meaning that Yeah. Meaning that now the better skull can come into play and attack with the sword on the very next turn. Also, maybe Telzigur and Tainted Pact. That's gas. That's a lot of things going on. Interesting would be uh, Fetchland <laughs> on this point, and he could have had played the Telzigur. Mm. But I'm also... not really sure why he didn't play the Mountain, because then he could fetch in against the really dangerous spell uh, with the Tainted Pact for a counter. I think but he says he wants a guaranteed untapped 5. But for what? Maybe casting the sword because of his removed Stoneforge Mystic. Mm. Maybe. Maybe he won he assumes that that he can cast Tazigur next turn also. Hard to say. Maybe it's, yeah, it doesn't really seem needed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, probably it is the curve. There's no other reason. And yeah. he can attach the sword even if the Stoneforge Mystic is going. Uh, pretty interesting on the other side that uh, we just see a Tarmogolf and no, nothing of the big drops. So is he afraid that it gets soft counter spelled and he just, maybe he wants to use the. Horizon Canopy for a counter spell or uh, for a for a card draw, or does he say just okay? Tamogoyf is the better creature, but he isn't. Uh, not not on the. Uh, hmm. like, I'm thinking. If he of... wants to block the better skull, he can do it with the Tamogoyf. I hmm. think. Yeah, because it, there's it's a four five. But. Both of the other creatures would block also. Well, you I want guess? to kind of remove the Obsidat and. Sure, but if you don't need to, or he is needed on the battlefield as blocker. Maybe he's better later. Like if you say, if something gets removed, I'd rather want my Tamogolf to die. But I mean, if he has a counter, he counters the Golf and he says go. Yeah. If he, I, if I he plays decide. the Obsidat. <laughs> He can next turn play the demon and the Tarmogolf. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And pressures a lot more. But yeah, probably he was afraid of counters, I guess. So he found uh, the equipment's best friend again, meaning two nine nemesis has a decent shot of being equipped with a huge uh, bone skeletal and another sword. But first, Mendes Rider says, "Hello, I'm here." Dealing three, and he indeed sacrificed the Horizon Canomy, found the Noble Hierarch, and a Durus. Durus is fine. That gets rid of the sword, which is, I imagine, not the best in this matchup, but still very potent on a flyer like Mentis, right? Huh? Yeah, and we see Durus being played, having only one real target, also feeding Tazigur. Mm. Tazigur is such a strong card. We see the Desecration Demon. Not at his best right now. 
very good raid for mana 6-6 six, six line, but of course, if your opponent wants, it's tapped and it cannot block. Yeah, and the Stoneforge Mystic is uh, a little bit useless anyways right now. So that could be sacked for him. So here we see the good old, I play all my cards and attack with Tom and Wolf. We, we talked so much that I really missed why he played Tainted Pick there. Maybe he just had a, a window of opportunity uh, getting something that's relevant. Where he could just uh, attach the sword to the better sky and go in. Maybe he was afraid that he loses too much with this play. Could be. I'm not sure. And he, he still just, he could have played uh, the, the Tassigo. I yeah, mean. That, that's true. But, well... I, I guess that, that's kind of like Rich's decision. He has everything. He just yeah. says, okay, if, if I play any random combination of spells and don't do it in a wrong way, it will end up good like, well and then you see here Sebastian kind of hanging on the ropes. Only Upsidat left as the real one card. And that doesn't really pair up well against uh, yeah, Tim and, as a And better. here we see the problem. If he he could hit still the Upsidat in play. And, well, he has eaten now two removals. How, how did... How did the Tamu die? Did it just uh, walk into the... It got double blocked, I guess. With better sky yes, Mantis Rider. True, yeah. I'm... Okay. Yeah. Because the Tamu guy attacked after playing the Desecration Demon. Yeah, true. And yeah. used to say, okay, I, I'll take the trade. And Sebastian said, like, I really get to get rid of the free, uh, rid of the Mantis Rider. Otherwise, it's just too huge. But then used to play true Nemesis and the same problem only in a much worse magnitude <laughs> appeared. <laughs> oh, it's like, okay, you got rid of my flyer. Whoops, I have a 7-4 protected from everything. Oh, wow. This nemesis is really a problem here. So what are the cards in Sebastian's deck that actually get rid of the nemesis? I assume there's the Council's Judgment. Yeah, then That's... there's probably uh, Leyana. But mm -hmm. there are too much creatures on the uh, opposite side. Yeah. Um, yeah. There. Some players uh, play the. How is it called? Or how is it pronounced better? Toxic uh, deluge. A toxic deluge would be something, but they play yeah. the spell for uh, one black, one white. Uh, instant speed, all ah. opponent's creatures get minus one, minus one, and heroes get plus one, plus one. Uh, zealous Persecution. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that, that's actually a good card in your deck because you play a lot of creatures. Yeah. That would be also a fairly nice answer to some situations. There's also yeah. the uh, the Pontiff, right? The Oath of Pontiff. Yeah. It might do the same. Probably. But then again, this... Situation here looks very grim, even though Obsidat kind of is holding defense against the other creatures, Trunia and Nemesis, and of course the other guards are just saying, well, no need to be uh, afraid, we'll take care of that. And Tazigua even drawing a card at the end of the turn, and you see a yeah, kind of Sebastian thing like, I morph this, and then... Maybe it gets like a different card when I turn it back up. So. But why would you remove him right here? I, I, it just doesn't matter. He just says, okay, maybe I need the life gain in the next turn. and mm. uh, I can okay. block with my mana creatures. But and you probably save more life if he stays in the game. Probably, yeah. But... Um, okay. This, this is just... Justus has to know this is just formality. We just... Yeah. We just do stuff. We equip better skull or attack with better skull or attack with everything, right? It's like, come on, what can you really have? I can attack with everything. I mean, he can block like just everything and doesn't matter, but. In this point of the game, you're fairly sure that your opponent, especially on Abzan colors, is not 
drawing out a cruel ultimatum or a time spiral. <laughs> so but, but, but now you you're still deaf, no matter what, to the nemesis next turn. I mean, yeah, if sure. you if you wanted to come back, it's an, okay. The the uh, Obsidian comes back in your own five, but you can still. Yeah, he, he is in a rough spot, I guess. <laughs> It's not the spot you want to be in in the finals. Of course, being in the finals, you also say, like, I can't really concede because I haven't lost yet. Maybe I draw, like, something. That That's also a hard decision. Do you do you want the Karakas uh, for the Obsidat, or but then you have two dead land drops? I, or do you just shuffle? I'm pretty sure you could do anything, and that would be... Oh, awesome. you just take the uh, Karakas? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you don't. Sure. You'd probably no. He didn't. Uh, okay. I just thought about you just mill the rest of cards with uh, Tazigo in the upkeep. Yeah, that, so. that that could be. But, but then again, saying like I'm on 25 life, I have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures, and a better sky. What do you have exactly? Ah, right. You have an upset. Nah, that, that's. And now he draws also two cards with the confident. I, I mean. <laughs> Actually, we don't need to talk anymore about this game because any decision is just uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Bounce the opposite arch and right click attack with all. Ah, wait. Even a man land. Maybe I don't have enough creatures yet. Ha! Let me figure out. All right. So we do get. The all deciding game of all games of this episode. Who will win? Ah, oh, that's so close. I, you have to think that Sebastian on the play is favored, right? You have to think that like, if he gets a good mana creature, yeah. turn three play, like three mana turn two play, this is just brutal. This is I, just... I really think if he starts with like birds into smiter or something, um, Loxodon smiter, then it really is getting rough. Yeah, because, I mean, maybe there's a swords, but a lot of the burn spells don't really deal with the big creatures. Right? So we see, like, okay, okay, you win. Sure, you get this time. But maybe next time is something different. Let's find it out. <laughs>